So hi guys, welcome back to Geeks or Geeks. Today we have a uh, Rohan Verma with us, and he will be sharing about his interview experience with all of us. So let's just have a brief introduction about him. So Rohan, just tell us about yourself first. Hi everyone, uh, pleasure to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, I'm Rohan. I'm currently in India. Uh, I work at uh, Delivery Hero, based in Germany, as a senior product manager. So um, I am originally a computer science engineer, but I've been I've been into product management and building products for almost close to eight years. Uh, I have also done my own travel startup, and I did some consulting as well. And uh, my passion lies in building products, and hence I'm doing product management right now. So Rohan, that was very nice to hear about you. So Rohan, let's start. So firstly, I would like to ask you, what is the proper preparation route, you know, to crack exams and interviews? Uh, sure. I think interesting topic, uh, and I think a lot of people out here, I'm sure they would want to know um, the best resources. There are plenty of resources um, in the market, but I, as in my personal opinion, I felt Exponent was the best. So um, for early stage uh, product managers and even mid career. Uh, I would really recommend them to go through the Exponent uh, platform uh, by the product schools. So uh, they have very, very uh, clear instructions on how to approach interviews, what interviews are going to be about. Mm -hmm. So uh, that guide is super helpful. Um, apart from that, uh, you can always um, um, do Google search on specific topics. There are a lot of companies who have written blogs like HubSpot. Uh, Salesforce, they're, they're good companies who have written specific things about specific topics so that uh, context would be very, very helpful when you talk in interviews and you can talk that language. So that that was mm -hmm. helpful. Um, apart from that, you can listen to some mock interviews on YouTube, like people who have cracked interview exams. A lot of people live stream their uh, experiences and you can like shadow and try to visualize how they're going about talking on a specific question. Right. That is uh, mm -hmm. how I approached and that is how I would recommend everyone to do. And I think it's very important also uh, more in the case of uh, mid-career product managers to visualize the interview in advance. Right. So it's very important to visualize how you would be asked. A question would be asked to you in an interview and how you would want to go about how would you want to talk about it. Right. So that visualization like keeps you in the game and it helps you, you know, crack the interview. So. Uh, that was good and always uh, do mock interviews with your friends family members also like you can do it with your parents also like doesn't matter but mm -hmm. make sure that you keep talking and uh, keep uh, giving some mock interviews so that you're ready that was indeed a very good advice so and also i feel like resumes plays a very important role in getting yeah. you know interviews and all so uh, when you gave your interview what, what like how was your resume different from the others? What advice you would like to give to our audience re on resume building? Got it. I think uh, before I just jump into how my resume was different, I think it's very important to understand that a resume is not just for uh, your hiring manager uh, or the tech person who would be taking your interview, but it's equally important for the HR as well, right? The non-tech people who would be filtering out your resume, right? So. The language has to be really, really simple, easy to understand. Uh, so that is one guiding principle that I followed and um, uh, knowing your skills, right? So if you, if I'm a product manager who has worked on the growth areas or the discovery side of the applications, right? So I shouldn't, like, I should be aware of what my strengths are and I should present my resume in that format so that it's easy for anyone to understand and relate to the uh, resume, right? So personalize it based on your experience and the profile that you're applying for, right? These are the two important tips that I would want to give. Now coming to how my resume was different. So I haven't like got a chance to match my resume with a lot of other candidate resumes, but the feedback which I got from the companies was that um, number one, I was more driven by the impact. So all the pointers that I had in my resume were more around the impact rather than the responsibilities which I held. Right, So I would talk mm -hmm. about uh, the key responsibility which I took and how it, how what impact I brought rather than just talking about the responsibility uh, that I took. Right, So uh, mm -hmm. that was, I think, one of the differentiating factors uh, which I feel um, like helped me out. Okay. 
so and what kind of questions you know did they ask you in uh, your technical round uh sure so i think um, like a lot of uh, product management management related interviews are, are standard in kind of questions that are being asked right so uh, mm -hmm. typically you would have uh an introduction round where the hr would ask you about your expectations whether there is a fit right which is easiest to crack and then eventually uh you would be having a combination of behavioral and technical interview questions and typically i was asked questions around product strategy for example um mm -hmm. i was asked like for especially in delivery though i was asked how would i enable a feature where restaurants could cancel an order of the end consumers right imagine you're ordering food on swiggy so as a product manager you want to build the cancellation feature so that uh, feature was one of the task uh, as a case study also which i got so and then also there there are questions around product execution where they would ask uh, 20% sales drop for amazon how would you um, fix this problem right so that that is also like execution related questions then guesstimate questions how many windows are there in an airplane so, so on and so forth right so those kind of questions are there and in some of the companies where i interview especially, uh, especially in europe uh, they ask me more questions related to my current experience so they would ask me that tell me a time when you solved a particular problem right mm. uh, what's your favorite product that you have built in your previous organization right tell me a time when you did not um, agree with your business stakeholder and what did you do so these are kind of behavioral plus technical mixed questions also which are uh, very very vague but it gives a good sense so uh, a good sense of expertise so these are the kind of questions that i was asked about okay so now i would like you to tell us about your personal experience in all of these things overwhelming i mean lot of questions a uh, lot of um, uh, the process was around uh, patiently waiting and trying to you know um, anticipate what going to happen next uh, whether i did well whether i did not do well so i think um, that waiting period uh, was something that uh, was quite challenging and um, um, i was lucky that um, a lot of friends referred me so i was able to quickly get Uh, referrals uh, and get interviews scheduled within two weeks of me approaching them, so that was a very very good thing that happened with me, and I was lucky. Uh, but then uh, when the lightning struck, I think the first eight interviews uh, I got rejected, right? So uh, I was prepared that uh, uh, not all interviews will go well. So a lot a lot of the places where I thought my interview went well, I did not get through, and then a lot of places where I I thought I did average interview went ahead. So it was kind of a roller coaster, right? but eventually towards the end i got like three or four offers uh, which was quite satisfying and uh, i enjoyed it but it was challenging at the same time so uh, it was fun to be honest okay so what was the you know most difficult part and what was the most overwhelming part about this whole journey and like how did you overcome it sure so as i mentioned so i started hunting in the month of november and then it took me the first offer that i got was in march and then the mm -hmm. second offer in april which i eventually accepted so uh, this long wait period of time was something that was quite challenging because you don't know whether you have to say yes or no to a company or who if i do should you wait for the best opportunity what does the best opportunity actually mean uh, it was quite challenging uh, and the second part was um, uh the motivation right so you keep interviewing you lose motivation in the middle right like i'm giving mm -hmm. interviews again and again for such a long time do i want to go again to the same process that was also quite challenging right what was not challenging and what surprising to me was the interviews that i got like really well uh, really quickly and uh, a good response from the hiring manager so a lot of my other friends found it hard to get um interview calls but in my case uh, that should i i felt that It, that wasn't a problem but yeah apart from that typical typical problems that i spoke about i faced all of them okay so how did you get to know about this delivery hero company or like which websites or blogs did you prefer for finding job opportunities <clears throat> got it so i think i looked at all the companies um, that are in a hyper growth stage in specific markets where i wanted to join right so i looked at hyper growth companies in the uae 
um, in uh, Europe uh, and even in India, uh, in some sectors, I kind of zero down on the industry and um, the markets. And then uh, through Google search, I could get list of companies who were recently funded or who are growing rapidly. This was one input. The second input was my friends um, who were working in the different organizations. They kind of uh, gave me a sense of how things are, how cult- product management culture is, how how is it like to work in their company. So they referred me in their organization and they told me whether it's a good time to join. Right. So Delivery Hero happened to be that company where my friend Neha, she uh, I had a conversation with her and she referred me and she guided me through the entire process for uh, Europe. So I think that was super helpful. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, LinkedIn, combination of LinkedIn, uh, and various job portals that I could think of, I searched on them, combined with Google search and talking with friends. All of this information uh, helped me finding the job opportunities. Okay. But referral was so, number one. Um, okay. So what kind of projects did you work on? And what kind of projects are you working on? <coughs> uh, sure. So I think... Uh, if I talk about uh, the kind of projects that I worked in the past, so I had a zero to one journey where uh, I was trying to build uh, a booking, holiday booking platform, just like booking day, uh, booking.com, but for holidays instead of hotels. So that was kind of the journey uh, I started with. Uh, and uh, I worked for a year and a half at Misho. So I was part of the post order team uh, as part of fulfillment and experience. So here I sort of build the customer support for consumers the order cancellation process for the customers. Uh, I also uh, worked on the fulfillment side where uh, the supplier side of the marketplace, I helped them process their orders faster and quicker. So an entire order management stack I was working on. So these are the kind of projects to name, to, a few of them to name uh, I was working on at Misho. And right now in Delivery Hero, it, it has only been a month that I've joined recently. So here I'm part of the uh, demerchant team. So essentially the restaurants, so we are into the business of of delivery so we're the world's largest local delivery platform so we own a lot of food delivery uh, and quick delivery and uh, you know dmarts across the world and uh, here i here as part of the d merchant team my job is to make sure that the restaurants can buy products from their suppliers right the core ingredient in, ingredients uh, with which they make the food right so uh, i want to bring both of these stakeholders on one platform and solve problems of the suppliers so that they can efficiently uh, collaborate with restaurants and restaurants are successful in the ecosystem. So a, a high level view, but this is what I'm working on. Okay. So uh, would you like to tell us about the most interesting part of your job? Sure. So I think um, uh, I think the challenge of building um, local products in a global setup is one of the most interesting uh, part and, the, and the, one of the primary reasons why I took this opportunity. So being part of a central team at Delivery Hero, I, I get to build products for local markets across continents. So the, one of our MVPs that we have launched, now we are we are expanding that from Southeast Asia market to Europe, in Austria and Asia Pacific, uh, in, uh, in Latin America, in Chile. So there are different markets uh, which have different requirements. So collecting, understanding local customers coming from different uh, geographies uh, and then building products uh, locally for them is one of one of the great experiences and uh, challenges uh, that I need to solve, um, and also the fact that I get to work with uh, you know cross uh, cultural teams and uh, you know teams from different background, different culture. We have more than 100 nationalities, so working with them and you know uh, keeping everyone together and doing the stakeholder management is also a challenge that I want to take on and improve. Uh, the skill set over here. So these are the two most inter- interesting things uh, as of now. And yeah, I think I like okay. it. Okay. So it was very nice talking to you, Rohan. So in the end, would you like to give some advice to all the viewers who are, you know, preparing for jobs and interviews? Any advice would help them? Sure. I think um, people who are looking out for uh, product opportunities, I think... Uh, my biggest advice to them is um, visualization and patience, right? So uh, try to visualize how an interview would happen. Uh, do not go blank into the interview without preparing and thinking that I will crack it. I have done a few things. Maybe I can do it, right? So you get only one shot to work at the best company, right? Like imagine you're giving an interview at Google. You would not get a second opportunity until next year, right? So uh, 
for your dream company make sure that uh, you are prepared well do a lot of mock interviews uh, be confident uh, if you don't know anything tell i don't know anything or just tell the reasoning why you uh, think that you don't know about any specific topic so be very clear on your thought process even if you don't know the right answer uh, and yeah and I, I, i think um, just persevere right so i just want to add one more thing right so when i got to delivery hero i this it, it was a third profile in the same company that i applied for the first profile the hr rejected me the second profile i did not get through the mid interview and then finally the third time i was able to crack it right so perseverance is also like really important do not give up uh, soon keep uh, trying and i'm sure uh, you will crack it so this is my feedback okay so thank you so much rohan for your time and it was yeah. very nice talking to you getting your thoughts and thank you thank you thank you all so the much all the best yeah all the best for your future and everything sure thank you so much good day i'm ending this uh, live